Flames shot up from the roof. Plumes of black smoke rose up into the sky. I don't know when we've seen anything like this. <laughs> In a quiet Escondido, California neighborhood, people watched a house burn to the ground. It was no accident. If you had to have a fire, this was the day to do it. Authorities say they had no choice but to light the home on fire because it was packed with explosive materials, some of the same types of chemicals used by suicide bombers. Wires, plastic jars, glass jars of HMTD, PETN, precursors, wires, solvents, acids. It was an absolute toxic wasteland. The rental home was formerly inhabited by an unemployed software engineer now behind bars. Police accuse him of running a bomb factory. I've heard things exploding up there in the past, but I didn't know what it was. I just assumed it was like a, some kids playing or something. Just minutes before 11 o'clock Thursday morning, crews ignited the home. It quickly became engulfed in flames. Firefighters needed the house to burn fast and at a high temperature, 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. The extreme heat neutralized the explosives. They said that the toxicity will be consumed within the first hour. It was gone within the first 20 minutes. Before the burn took place, meticulous planning was involved from how the house was going to be burned all the way to what the weather was going to be like. They want it to be, uh, the atmosphere conditions to be just right. Uh, in this case, they want the plume to go straight up and then uh, the winds to carry it off towards the east. Had the weather not been just right, the toxic smoke would have been closer to the ground. The county also kept close tabs and air quality. But in this case, this was no worse, as far as I can tell, than an ordinary house fire with the way it was handled. The gist of the burn ended within an hour. Some homeowners were evacuated, but were slated to return to their houses in the evening. Investigators now want to know why the suspect turned his house into a munitions plant. John Mon the Associated Press, Escondido, California.